Hello friends, it is Mrs. P. I am here to do my debt update for July. Um, I am excited to share the numbers with you guys this, this month or today. I was not expecting to put a lot toward our debt because we, you know, had a couple trips and some unexpected spending and things like that, but we pulled it together and we had a great month. So what I have here is our June overview. And so I wanted just to kind of like refresh your memory on our numbers. Um, as, okay, so January we started out with 50, that almost $58,000 in debt. Now this does not count our mortgage or our, or my student loans. Um, I'm going to do student loans and focus on those after this stuff is taken care of, or at least until once we get down to just Owen for the cars. Once all of our consumer debt is gone and we just have the cars, then I will add this student loan debt in there. Now I am making payments on my student loans. I've just, they're not my focus right now. I'm just making the minimum payments and a lot of it's going to interest, so it's not moving very much. But, you know, there'll be a day that I can focus on those. But anyway, so as of um, the end of, let's see here, June, we had paid 23% of our debt off for the for the year, which was around 13000 And so um, I had set a goal that I wanted by December to pay off $28,964, which is 50% of our debt. Hopefully we'll get there. It's just taking a lot of like discipline to do that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started with today's numbers. So I've got my new budget or debt picture. This is for July. Um, every now and then, if I ever feel discouraged or like we're not making a lot of progress, I can go and flip back through here and just see the numbers and it's definitely encouraging to see you know what slow and steady wins the race so anyway so i will go ahead and zoom you in i didn't pre-fill any of the numbers out usually i do that at least give the previous balances but just because of lack of time i just went ahead and just wanted to get the video done so we have our like the first one, two, three, four, five. So five debts are paid off as of uh, June. I think we got all those paid off in June. And then Uplift is the loan that we're working on now. So we came in with a previous balance of 940 and 60 cents, okay? So I was able to, in the month of July, pay $761.75 toward uplift. Mind blowing. I, d I did not realize I had paid that much, but you know, every chance I got, every time a little bit of extra money came in, I threw it at the debt. So our new balance for uplift is $178.85. This is a 0% interest loan. So everything that we pay goes to it. So we were able to knock off 761 and 75 cents. So by the end of July, no, no, no. By the end of August, this debt will be gone. Yay, I'm excited because the regular payment is 156.75. So I just need about 20 extra bucks to pay this one off. All right, so then we will start on our um, Citibank card. Our previous balance was sixteen thirty three, thirty seven. It is this was a transfer card. Uh, it we it was zero percent interest. I think it the interest kicks in in July or August of twenty twenty five. So this should be gone way before that. Um, we've just been making the minimum payments, which is twenty dollars. So this one went down to sixteen thirteen thirty seven which is a difference of 20, since that's a 0% interest loan. All right, next is the ortho. Now, it is lower than the Citibank, but because this is just a medical payment that I'm paying for my daughter's braces, we just set up a payment plan with the orthodontist office, and so 
I'm just paying the regular payments on that and I'm not planning on putting any extra to it unless we get down and like her, her braces are, it's time to come off or something like that and I'm, I may just pay it off. But for right now, we're just gonna make the payments. So our new balance is $818.30, which is a difference of $88, all right? John Deere, this is the, uh, it's, it's a credit card, but my husband purchased his Gator and our riding lawnmower with this, and it has been, whew, tough making these payments because they're high. Now, it was 0% interest. There is some little fee that they tack on for something. I'm not sure what it is, but so the it's come down quickly, but this started out around $27,000. So we owe twenty four fifty or the, as of June twenty four fifty four twenty three. We made the regular payment, which was four oh three fifteen. Uh, we our new balance is two thousand fifty six dollars and eight cents, and that's a difference of three ninety eight fifteen. Okay, so this one should be paid off in December. That's that's when the debt is scheduled to be finished. And I will be so glad. $400. That's like a car payment. That's been tough. Okay. Wells Fargo. This is another 0% interest card that we did a balance transfer on. It is due to be paid off by August of 2025. If for some reason it is not paid off by then, I will transfer this balance to a new 0% interest card. And the good thing about debt payoff is as you're paying your debt off, your credit scores start going up because you have less like debt to income ratio is going down. So we are getting offers all the time for 0% zero, zero balance transfer cards. Um, we don't need them right now, but if and when these uh, get close to being, you know, charging the interest, we'll definitely transfer those so that we do not have to pay any interest. So the new balance on this one is $63.95 and 50 cents. And that's a difference of 75. Now the minimum payment is, ha has gone down since the, the balance has gone down, but I've just been keeping the $75 coming off of it. It, I think it's around $69 or something like that, that the minimum payment is now, but it's just a few extra dollars. I just leave it at that. All right. My car, the previous balance was $13,404.82. Uh, made a payment of $500. The actual payment's like $499, but sent, and when the credit union takes that money out of my paycheck, they take the exact amount but I've just been rounding it up to 500 since I've been manually paying it over the summer. Um, so the new balance is 12,957 and 56 cents. And that's a difference of $447 and 26 cents. So a lot of the payment, just barely over $50 is going to interest now. So this balance has come down quickly now. All right. The truck is eight, the previous balance was $18,761.80. We made a regular payment of $470. The new balance is $18,355.61, which is a difference of $406.19. Now, the truck actually has a lower interest rate than my car does, just by like a half a percent or something, but because the balance is higher, more goes to interest than for my car. All right, so here's the numbers. Are you ready? Oh, I didn't put, well, these are just blank because our balance didn't change. We don't have any extra debt, which is another reason that I wanted to pay off that Sam's card because I did not want to have to put the Sam's card on this debt payoff thing. I was determined that I'm not adding debt to this. So, all right, our total before the month was... $44,571.62. We made a total amount of payments of $2,317.90. Woo, that's bit more than last month, and I just, I'm stoked. 
All right, so then our balance came down to $42,375.27. And because we did lose some to interest, the difference of our debt went down $2,196.36. Actually, that was a five. That was supposed to be a five. Okay, so almost $2,200 came off of debt this month. Now, a lot of it's just regular payments, but because we have 0% interest stuff, it comes down quicker. Now, when we first started our journey, we had so many cards that had like 30% interest rates. It's hard to pay off debt when so much goes to the interest. So, that's why the like starting with your smallest card and just snowballing it really helps. All right, so total debt since January, just of this this year, we've paid off $15,553.63. Woo! So I calculated that. That's a 26.8% paid off. So we're trying to get to the 50% goal. So maybe we'll get there. I'm looking at this number, 42,375. Now it's going to take a lot to get down into the 30,000s, but gosh, wouldn't that be nice to to hit August or to hit September already down that much in debt. I mean, that's a that's a hefty goal. I don't think we can do it, but we're going to be really close. So, we lost a total of $121.55 to interest, which is not bad. It could be way worse, but if you think about it, that's almost enough to have paid off that uplift loan. So, I mean, your interest is really just giving money away. So, anyway, guys, that is my debt update. It's kind of a short video, but it's an exciting one. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Okay, so now to tackle more of this during August and try to stay within budget in all of our categories so maybe we could get close to the 30000 mark in our debt picture for our consumer debt. All right, friends, I am going to get off here. I've got some chores to do. I haven't been feeling great. My ear is still stopped up. I know I need to go to the doctor. Oh, I just don't want to. Um... But anyway, it's starting to like pop, like crackle, which is almost more annoying than being completely stopped up because it's like, I don't know, it, you can feel it popping in there. Not pop, it's crackling. So I'm thinking maybe it's trying to open up. I'm going to try the neti pot today and see if that will help. I've been doing all of the other things, warm compresses, eardrops, um, Flonase, Benadryl, all the things trying to help clear my ear out, but I may end up, I don't want to go to the doctor. And it's not that I hate going, I don't know, I just hate going to the doctor. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. There's Nick. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.